Welcome to all of you on my channel. All viewers and all subscribers are welcome from the deep core of my heart. Today's lecture is the continuation of the physics related lecture. In this lecture, as we know that the unit of linear momentum is kilogram meter per second, which is also expressed as Newton second. Uh, simply, we can say that you, the unit of linear momentum is both kilogram meter per second, uh, kilogram meter per second, and Newton second. So let's uh, be us try to prove this. As we know that linear momentum is given by equation P is equal to m v. This is the equation for the linear momentum P is equal to m v. If I derive a unit from this equation, so the unit of mass is a kilogram and the unit for velocity is a meter per second. So kilogram meter per second is the unit of momentum. But you may have read this that kilogram meter per second uh, can be also expressed as Newton second. So let's prove it. Kilogram meter per second. If we multiply this by second over second, so there is there is we can multiply it because second over second give us one and one is multiplicative identity we can multiply an equation by one so multiplying and dividing this by second or second and multiplying by second and dividing by second so it will become kilogram meter per second square and it will become second 1 kilogram meter per second square is equal to Newton because we know from equation F is equal to Ma. So this mass is the unit of kilogram and meter per second square is the unit of acceleration. So this will become Newton kilogram meter which is the unit of force. So this kilogram meter per second square will become Newton and this will become second. So we can express this that kilogram meter per second is equal to Newton second. We can also prove it by another method. Uh, we can prove this by P is equal to mv. This is the equation for the linear momentum. If I am writing that acceleration is equal to rate of change of velocity. So velocity will become V is equal to AT. Put this in equation 1. So linear momentum will become P is equal to MAT. So the unit of mass is kilogram uh, and the unit of acceleration is meter per second square and the unit of time is a second. So this will become Newton second. So as we inspect that the unit of mass is, a, uh, the unit of momentum is kilogram meter per second and it is also Newton second. Or uh, we can prove it from another equation. F is equal to delta P divided by delta T. As discussed in my earlier uh, videos, that the rate of change of linear momentum is called force. So momentum will become F is equal to uh, uh, P is equal to delta P is equal to F of cross delta T. So the unit of force is Newton and this is second. So delta P is equal to Newton second. So if this came in MCQs that uh, the unit it often come often come in MCQs 
that the unit of linear momentum is kilogram. This often comes in MCQs. The unit of linear momentum because it is linear momentum. The unit of momentum is A option would be kilogram meter per second. B option is Newton second and C option is both and D option is none. So you have to go for both because as already proved I, I proved in my video that the unit of momentum is kilogram meter per second and it is also Newton second. So don't be confused in this. It's easy peasy. So in today's video we discuss that the unit of momentum is kilogram meter per second which is also expressed as Newton second or simply we can say that the unit of momentum is both kilogram meter per second and Newton second. If you like our video please do subscribe our channel for video and contents like this. Thank you.